shoots the nigga. Oh, Lord. Right? <laughs> Listen to this shit. Listen to this shit. I can't make this up. He go to the club. He shoot the nigga. He gets away. But somehow he drops the gun. So now when they do ballistics on the gun, guess who DNA is all over the fucking gun? Mine. What? What do they do? They come get me for this shit. Money conversations, we've been making business moves Contemplating how to get it, need to get in tune Different topics, we got options, you can pick and choose If more income ain't the outcome, gotta switch the mood We tryna help you to improve, thanks for asking Road the riches, speak on broker days and past tense Wealthy habits, lately I just wanna stack chips Took a risk and we've been running up a bag since G Vast Quest, quick to make a couple G's Detox, spin knowledge, put you on your feet Bug out, got the plate, make sure to pray before you eat At the table with the winners, come and take a seat. Yo, yo, for the next episode of Thanks for Asking, we got YP to YG, and he's Southside's finest, one of the rappers that do his thing. But yo, we got a new co-host that her name is Allie, and she's down with the team. Yes, sir. That's right, that's right. So for Detox, yo, do your shit, bro. Talk to me about, you, you, you got to talk to me about uh, your, your criminal, the stuff you did in the past and how the hell you come home, you come from such a good structured home and what made you want to do crimes and shit like that, get into trouble? I ain't getting the crimes. I held my nigga down. Mm-hmm. I'm saying my first juvenile case, I did some dumb shit. Bring it up. Yo. I did some... I'm going to be so real. I did some dumb shit as a juvenile. Mm. We're going to talk about this stupid okay. shit. I was in the process of doing one crime and got locked up for a crime I didn't even do. I did a one to three for a crime I did not do. I kid you not, but I took it because I was scared to go to trial. Mm. I was sitting on somebody's step. This is when navigators... This was just juvenile. Yeah. Navigators was lit back then. The shit that you put in the car, them shit was like $100, $200 when they first came out. The, the GPS? The GPS okay. navigator, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. When they first came out, them shit was yeah, like a buck yeah, and change, yeah, 200. Yeah, yeah. It was one in the car, so I sat on somebody's step, and I'm peeping the car like, yo, I'm about to spark plug the window so I can get the GPS. Yeah. So police drive by as I'm sitting on the step. I mm. kid you not, I put this on my mother's soul. This is exactly how this shit went down. Police drove by, they stopped and said, hey, what you doing? I said, nah, I'm just sitting here, man, I need some air. Some little bitch came out the crib of the step I was sitting on and said, yo, he's trying to get in my house. I kid you not. I went to jail for burglary, bro. I went what? To jail, I, I went to jail for attempted burglary. How the fuck do you attempt to burglary or something, bro? So that's crazy. I went to jail. I did a one to three for attempted burglary because this little bitch kept coming to court and my lawyer was like, yo, but they got you sitting on her property. They don't got you doing nothing, but I think they're giving you a good deal. Nigga, now that I'm older, I should have went to fucking yeah, trial, I'm bro. I'm going to take that. Because what was you facing if you blew trial? Five years. Oof. Just sitting on somebody's step, bro. I didn't even get yeah. the navigation system, yeah. nigga. I did a one and three behind sitting on somebody's step. Wow. Now my second charge, I had to hold I had to hold a friend down. I'm mm. not gonna get in the names, but no, I will no, get no, in the, no names. I, I will get in the details. Mm-hmm. A nigga I fucked with that I thought was my nigga. Yeah. Thought was my 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 good friend. He got into a situation over a female. Uh oh. And the female was like, I was renting a room to her. And she was like, she was beefing with him at the time. It was like, if you don't come get this gun out of my house, I'm going to give it to your PO. So he said, yo, YP, do me a favor. I said, what? Yo, go get the gun from this bitch before she called my PO, my nigga. So I take the gun. I wrap the gun up. I put the gun in the attic. This nigga catches into an argument with her other nigga. Because there's not nobody's girl. They're both just dealing with the girl. Oh, my God. He catches to an argument with her other nigga. Come to my house, yo, YP. I need a favor. What? Yo, come bring that downstairs. I come downstairs. I give it to him. He goes to the club. He shoots the nigga. Oh, Lord. Right? <laughs> Listen to this shit. Listen to this shit. I can't make this up. He go to the club. He shoot the nigga. Right? He gets away. But somehow he drops the gun. Oh, man. So now when they do ballistics on the gun, guess who DNA is all over the fucking gun? Mine. What? What do they do? They come get me for this shit. So they're asking me, like, yo, we know this is not you because it happened at the club. We watching the cameras. They want me to tell them who that is. 
I didn't tell them who it was. They hit me with the charge. So I'm going to court. They offering me five years, five years, five years, five years. I said, fuck that. I'm going to trial, nigga. Like, <laughs> like I, I'm, nigga, I'm not doing that again. Nigga. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to trial, nigga. The day of trial. They went from five years and said, McFarlane, we'll offer you three years probation. I say, yo, give me time to think about that, right? <laughs> so I called my shorty and was like, yo, they went from five years to probation. She said, that means they don't got nothing. My lawyer's like, go to trial. Let me tell you why I took the probation. I took the probation. I took the probation. I completed the probation. No violations, no nothing, right? Mm. I took the probation to do my nigga a favor, even though I'm clearly not his nigga. If I take the charge, they can't spin back. And try to charge him. Oh. For they went from felony possession to misdemeanor possession. Nah, give it to me. As long as it's not a felony, oh, yeah. I'll take it. Mm-hmm. So you drop the charge, you drop the time. I'll take it. My nigga just came home from jail from getting into some shit. Yeah. They would have smoked him. They'd have mm. gave him football numbers. They'd have mm. smoked him. Oh, hands down. Yeah. They'd have smoked him. He just did five years. Mm. They'd have smoked him. Hands down. They'd have smoked wow. him. So I took the charge. So they don't smoke them. Mm. And I never got a thank you. Wow. I ain't Bobby I, smarter. Never got it. <laughs> but I didn't, I, I did it because I'm loyal. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He see me say hi and say what's up here and there, but it's like, it ain't the same. Our yeah, friendship yeah. ain't the same, nigga. That's like, real. we was we was cool as fuck. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, nah, you, you fucked that up. Yeah. I ain't got no hate towards you. Yeah. It's just not, it's just not the same. It's not yeah. the same. Like, that mean you showed me the way I fuck with you. It's not how you yeah, fuck that's a with fact. me. That's a fact. So it's like before it's love, loss, and beef, I'd rather just leave you alone. How did that feel when that happened? When you, when you realized like, oh, this shit ain't the same. Like what was in your mind when that shit happened? Like, My nigga, loyalty is an action. That shit is not a word. Mm. So you felt betrayed? Betrayed? No. Disappointed? Yeah. I don't expect nothing from none of these niggas to be real with you. You mm. can't expect a nigga to do something. Like, nah. Disappointed? Yeah. Yeah, because we we cut from a certain cloth. Mm-hmm. We cut from a certain... We the last of the era. Mm. So you would have held you down, but you didn't hold me down. For example, the nigga sent my cousin... Nigga called my cousin and said, yo, do me a favor. I'm on my way to your crib. Send him $100 on commissary. I'm going to come to your crib and give it to you. My cousin sent me the $100 on commissary. Nigga never went to my cousin's crib. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nigga never went to my cousin's crib, bro. Never gave him the money, bro. I swear to God, wow. I can't make this shit up, bro. I had to come home and give my cousin back his hundred dollars. Wow. It's like nigga, and I'm and I'm doing you a favor, bro. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like, nah, that's why I realized, like, nah, this shit ain't it. That's so why I said I moved to Brooklyn. I told yeah, you, like, yeah, I yeah. don't get in this shit in Brooklyn. When I realized all my court cases is from Queens, mm-hmm. like, nah, I love Queens. I don't know if Queens fuck. love you. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Nigga, all my cases is from Queens. What was it like getting locked up? Like, what? what is it? Oh, nigga, I bailed out. <laughs> I bailed out two weeks later. Oh, my God. I bailed out. Too. Once, I seen, once I seen the situation. No, that, I'm talking about when you did your, your one to three. Oh, I was the baby of the jail. I was 17 when I went to jail, man. I ain't come home till I was 19, so all the old heads, like, they winged me. You would think because I was the young nigga that I was in green. I would thought I was going to be... I'll be real. When you 17 and you going up north, you don't know what to expect. You, you think scared? you... Nigga, at first, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not going to lie. People going to say, yo, no, I was... That's what I'm saying. People nah, be- nigga, like, let me tell you something. Up north jail and the island is two different jails. Mm-hmm. Break it down. I'm going to break it down right okay. now. On the island... You gonna tell that officer suck your dick? You gonna throw that pee cup at him? He gonna write the report? He not gonna touch you? They gonna come and probably just throw you in solitary? You get up north, that white man gonna tell you this is not Rikers Island. <laughs> this I swear, this is the speech they give you. This is not Rikers Island. This is a hands-on facility. Yo, <laughs> nigga, they let you know. Hands-on? We mean hands-on. Nigga, they will like fuck you up. <laughs> nigga, That's fuck all you up. Know. Literally. They <laughs> let you know this is a hands-on facility. No, I seen the white nigga get crazy with inmates. Nigga come up there talking that tough Rikers Island shit. Suck my dick. He said that shit to the CO. Mm. I kid you not. This is what the CO did. It's some shit they got on their hip with a pin. The nigga pulled the pin and laid on the floor, right? And we wondering, why the fuck is he laying on the floor? The shit he pulled on his hip is a pin that let all the officers know, yo, he got a problem, and it tells them exactly where it's at. 
Nigga, they came there 10 deep. Like, when I say they fucked that boy up, nigga, they fucked that boy up. Wow. Nigga, wow. Fucked that boy up. <laughs> and that nigga fronted. He, he laid on the floor and there was nothing wrong with him. I said, oh, no, they not playing fair up north. Nigga, I did not play with the white man. <laughs> like, nigga, like, yo, I curse you out on the island, nigga. Up north, I wasn't playing with them niggas. I just mind my business. Mm -hmm. I go chill with the old heads because they don't play with the white man. Mm -hmm. The young niggas want attention. They want to they yeah, yeah. prove they self. Yeah. The old nigga just want to do his time and go home. Mm -hmm. He already sentenced. He already, all right, now it's just time I'm serving. Yeah. White niggas still, um, young niggas still think he he he, mm -hmm. he in the mix. Nah, nigga, I'm chilling with these niggas, mm. and that's how I got through my bed. Mm. A old head winged me, kept me out of trouble. So all this time was you rapping like during that time? Was you rapping? Oh, oh I, I was battling in jail. Oh. I was a battle in jail. I didn't have too much commissary, so a nigga had to battle for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Make your talent had to work. Find a way. No, I was bad. If I got a package or I got commissary, I would double up and bet my shit, knowing I was gonna make it back, bro. Mm. I swear, I did like four or five battles like that. Yeah, and you you didn't get you didn't get. I battle? never lost a battle, and I'm not even too. I'm was not it even, tough? Was it, was there anyone where he was like, nigga, that's close? I don't know if I. You know what I'm saying? Was it like any of them like that? No, because they was putting me against. Keep my it parents. real, yeah. Wapi. <laughs> Got to keep it real on here, bro. Keep it real. Okay. They were putting me against my peers. My peers is not fucking with me. Mm. Mm. I'm being honest with you, yeah. respectfully. It's older niggas fucking with me. Is my peers? Who the fuck who you are? Mm. It's like the kitchen. I know how to cook too. Like my peers is not fucking with me with this music shit. When it comes bar for bar, mm -hmm. when it comes to song for song. I may not be only thing that I lack, and I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep it real. This is what I lack from other people, is consistency. Mm. Mm. It's for real. Sometimes I'll put out something, I'll get distracted, and then it'll be three, four months before you see me drop a new song. Yeah. You know who I love and has a lot of consistency, and I feel like they don't get enough. They don't get their flowers. Who that? Kaya baby. Bro, we just had Kaya Baby. I we feel like definitely give Kaya her Baby is yeah. very consistent. You agree I'm with that, right, Bob? Hell yeah. I very agree with that. consistent. Yeah. And it's not, it's not, yeah. not to cut you off, it's not just about being consistent. It's about being hot and consistent. Because mm -hmm. yes. you could be consistent and mm -hmm. be trash. <laughs> you gotta be hot though. <laughs> Throughout yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah you could <laughs> so that's what's about the main part yeah. about consistency. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. I think. I yeah. think. Kaya baby. So what what was the crazy ex experience you had or seen outside of your man on the floor about to <laughs> get to his setting up setting up an inmate basically? Was there any other crazy I got to a fight for two dollars? <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not, I got into a fight for two dollars in jail. For two dollars, cause how? I draw too. Mm. See, people don't. Know I didn't that. know that. I did not know that. And I did a drawing for the nigga, and he was supposed to give me ten dollars in commissary, and he gave me eight. And it was like no lie in jail. That two, I'm not gonna lie. That two dollars, bro. That shit really, yo, you think outside like $2 is whatever. Yeah. And jail, no, that shit make a big difference on your commissary, bro. Like, that shit makes a difference, bro. So I wound up, <laughs> I wound up challenging this nigga, fighting this nigga in the bathroom for $2. And the old head pulled me. I'm talking about when you got one of them father, like, you dumb niggas. Yeah. <laughs> like, that nigga gave it to me, bro. Like, <laughs> he pulled me to the cube. You was a stupid motherfucker. Like, you fighting for two fucking dollars, risking yourself. Because the boy had a split lip and I had a split lip. So now they going around. They see, he got caught first. They doing cube check and they see his face is split. So now they come to me. They see my lip is busted. Oh, now it was these two niggas. We both go to the box. So this is why the old head was mad at me. Like, nigga, you fought and you ain't even like try not to get hit. Like, nigga, you got hit. Like, nigga, what you mean? He hit me back. <laughs> nigga, I popped on him. He popped on me, nigga. Like. <laughs> Shit happens, nigga. He got mad. I went to the box for 30 days. What's the box like? The box wasn't bad for me. I don't know. My nigga Gary was in the box next door to me, so we was talking. Gary from around. Gary, 115 Gary. Oh, my God. I was locked up with Gary, too. When Gary was in the box, I was in the box. We would chat from the box. I was only 30 days in the box. Is so that went, shit pitch black? That shit. No, bro. A box is this. Mm -hmm. The box is you're in an isolated cell 23 hours a day. You go out one hour for rec. Is oh. imagine being in here 23. I know general population, they go out for chow, they mm -hmm. go out for lunch, they go out for wreck, they go like no, they oh, move, yeah. they yeah. move in the pot 23 hours. No, nigga, you only come out for that one hour to go do your recreation. Mm. Mm. So it's basically you on cell lockdown for yeah. 30 days. Shoe program. It ain't no fucking 
Whole. That's a max. I was in the medium. I was in green. Oh. Yeah, Any was- nigga that was in green, they didn't do more than 10 years. Mm. Anything like Clinton, Sing Sing, them, no, those are the maxes. Those are, you got them, them football numbers, Ooh. them 15s, them 20s, them, mm. them mm. lives, <laughs> them shits like that. Mm. Life is basketball numbers. <laughs> yeah, that part. <laughs> jail is whack. The older I get, I look at jail, I be like, yo, if you go to jail and you glorify that shit, you're a goofy. Oh. Ain't no money, ain't no bitches. Ain't Some no niggas, kidding. that's all they know, though. Yeah. You know what hey, I'm saying? Well, then I, I can't, I gotta move from you if you can't. Some grow. niggas can't survive yeah. out in the streets yeah. and can survive in jail better. Nah. So that's, that's just, not that's, it. somebody told I know, me. That I know, I know what you're saying, yeah, but somebody. that's how I go for some people. They some don't people see it just like that. Yeah, they don't yeah. see it like that. That's that uh, Shawshank Redemption thing where he was, he was red in jail. And when he got out, he's saying, yes, boss. He's just like, this is crazy. I can't do yeah, this. Yeah, I can't. You can't man. survive out in the regular yeah. civilization. Because they're not an institute. They used to the man taking care of him. But then, they, you know, it's like any system. Once you figure out how to work it to to your advantage, you start liking this shit. Nah, I, can, I can get whatever I want. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If I'm the man. If, if they I, make that shit comfortable for you. Oh, you niggas don't get visitors? Oh, guess what? We got iPads. You, you can virtually see your people. Oh, you niggas don't like the food? Guess what? We're going to give you niggas commissary. Oh, no commissary? You don't like our commissary? We'll let them send you a package. Oh, you niggas want to watch the basketball game? Oh, we'll put cable in the day room. No, my nigga, they make jail comfortable for you. Oh, you don't want these niggas in your privacy? Guess what? We'll give you your own cube with your own locker. Really? Bro, motherfucker, nigga, they make you comfortable in jail. Oh, you want to take those pics? You don't want these state ju- these state shoes? Have your people send you up them Timberlands and Nikes. How the fuck you think niggas being there with no, Nikes and No, it's true. I've seen pics of niggas with the latest like, how? flyer yeah. shit Oh, you don't want to wear knives? Have your people send you the shit. You can get fly in jail. That's true. So My they nigga. don't be dressed so that you can dress regular in jail? No, you got to have on the state green pants. But if you go into a visit, you can wear any. You can wear your sneakers and mm-hmm. you can wear a button up shirt. Mm-hmm. You just got to wear the state green pants so they know you're an inmate. You can't yeah. wear like jeans there. How yeah. they going to. The difference. Yeah, they yeah. can't they can't dictate the difference. But no nigga, they make jail comfortable for niggas, bro. For niggas. That I, oh what? You doing life? Oh, you miss your family? Oh, we're gonna give you a trailer visit. Hold on. We're gonna let your bitch come for the weekend. <laughs> nigga, what? Dead yeah. ass. They make That's that crazy. shit yeah. that shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, it is crazy. When you think about it, that yeah, shit crazy, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. That shit is modern day legal slavery. You in there working for 30 cents a day. Mm. Well, it's in the Constitution, right? They can see slavery. Look fuck them rights. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> it's written in law. You are, you're owned by the... Uh, we're we're owned by the government the moment we born and we signed that birth certificate, nigga. They gave you your own personal social number. Mm-hmm. Here you go, sir. This is for you. Why you think if you do something to your kid, nigga, ACS get involved? Mm-hmm. It's because you don't own your child. You don't you even want to own your house. Else? Would I want to live? No, hell no. I'm staying in New York. Never. I don't give a fuck what part of New York I'm staying in New York. I'm staying in New York. I'm not going to Jersey, PA, Atlanta, none of them places where everybody picking up and moving to. Nope. You're going to find me in the five boroughs, bro. Mm. If I go far, it's going to be Staten Island. Staten yeah. Island far. You can send me across the ferry, nigga. I'm not, I'm not going too far, far, nigga. Yeah. yeah, that far. I'm staying in New York. So, so talk to me. You, you do your one and three. You get out. You start... Um, Getting into your music, how'd you meet Chris? From uh, Chris, I we're talking about Chris. from We All In. I always knew Chris mm-hmm. because Chris was hanging with my brothers. Mm. Chris started fucking with me the first time he heard me rap. That nigga brought me to the block to battle niggas, bro. Wow, I was fresh out of jail, and I was rapping before I went to jail. And when I came back, he brought me fresh to one sixteen. And just had me battling people. Just had me rapping and freestyling and rapping and freestyling. So when you battling, was you in song mode too? Or no, you just was know, battling? I, I, did, I didn't format songs until I met him. Okay, all right. So this is all before this me This is him. before him. Man. Okay. Chris introduced me to him. Okay. Because Don and and Surf was already utilizing him as an yeah. engineer. Mm-hmm. They, they, they was utilizing him first. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I've never been to a studio. Mm-hmm. And Chris was like, you never been to a studio. He said, hold on, I'm going to make a call. He called them. And they was like, nah, we going to the studio tomorrow. And then Chris was like, nah, you going to go with them. And he came and got me from my block. 
and made sure I went to. He, he was by like the trestle, by like yeah, 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 by like um, one eleven and one sixty nine. Yes, he, he was by the trestle and, and they made sure I went to go to this man to go lay my shit down. Yeah, I remember he came in. They was like, "Yo, he hot. He this, he that." And it's like he was like a rabid pit bull at that time, just like fresh home. And you know what I'm saying? He got a haircut, just like. As soon as he get in the booth and just start speaking, so it's just every time like, I wrote it was everybody like, stops and listens, like because the energy is yeah. just like motherfucker went six minutes. Bro, straight. when it come to energy, and it come to a lot of people are rappers. I'm not a rapper. Mm. It's a difference. I'm a performer. I know how to perform. I know how to engage in the crowd. I don't stay on the stage. I jump in that motherfucker, bro. Like I'm being real with you. Like I like to perform. That's why my videos be mad animated. Yeah, yeah. How? Oh, you see my facial expressions. Like, no, I like to perform. People be too cool to be expressive. Yeah. Like, to be them. No, I'm an entertainer, nigga. I like to entertain people. I don't like to just rap. Anybody can rap. Yeah. I don't rap. Because people can rap on a video, on the phone, and if you put them in this setting right here and told them to rap for you, they, they get stage fright. They freeze. Mm-hmm. It's people like that. Mm-hmm. I get hype off of that shit. Mm. Mm. You thrive in that motherfucker. I thrive in it. So, did you even have plans at that time? No. I was fresh home from jail. Didn't know what the fuck I was doing. My name was Killer Prince. And he said, your name... Yo, I fucking love Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and nigga said, your name is what? Killer Prince. He said, you ain't never killed nobody on the block before. <laughs> I swear, he said that shit. I will never forget these conversations. Certain conversations yeah. with Chris that just make sense to me. You see what I'm saying? And, that, and like the older I got, it was like, yo, that shit really made sense. He said, no. Your name is going to be Young Prince. I said, Young Prince? He said, matter of fact, your name is YP. Because it was YG Dawn. Yeah. It was YG Serve. It was YG Chris. Dax and all. So I didn't like the way YP, YG sound. And I yeah. didn't like the way YG YP sound. So he said, nah, you YP, do YG. And nigga, that shit stuck with me since I was 16, nigga. Chris, that shit stuck with me since I was 16, and it's going to stay with me forever. Mm. It's going. The nigga said, yo, before he made We All In The Clothing Line, he was like, yo, I got to find a name that's going to market this better. He said, Chris and Nifi got this YG shit and I'm mad because they incorporated it and nobody understood Chris back then like I'm being real yeah. Chris had a fucking vision back then I mean, like, well, you, yo fuck them niggas we still gonna pump this shit like, <laughs> no that's what we saying yeah. we still gonna pump this name nigga fuck them he's like nah we, we can't like we can't do that like they yeah. have it in paper yeah. already he came out with We All In and the shit just it did what it did it mm. did what it did Chris was washing dishes in fucking Port Royal. Yeah, I remember. Yo. He was washing dishes in Port Royal. Like, to start from the bottom and be where you at now, like, yo, I admire that nigga so much, bro. It's like, it's nothing nobody that could ever tell me anything that's made me go against Chris. Mm-hmm. My mm-hmm. whole closet is we all in. I do not wear name brand clothes. I wear we all in. From the fucking do-rag in my back pocket to the jersey I have on, nigga, to the t-shirt under this. Nigga, mm-hmm. it's all... We all in. Mm-hmm. I support him because he support me. Yeah, the whole hood support him. Yeah, right. the Queen support him. Bro, wow. that's one of the most mutualist niggas where everybody loves Chris. You yeah. heard everybody hate Chris? No, yeah. everybody loves that's Chris. That's a fact. Bro. That's a fact. Everybody loves Chris, bro. That's a fact. That is a fact. But he, you know, he show love. He's yeah, like, he do. You know what I'm saying? Like He his, do. I feel like even if he don't know you, he'll still fuck with you. Yeah, he do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just his heart. Yeah. He's just that genuine, bro. Yeah. He's, he's dope. Like that nigga's that genuine. That's why is like that's my my that's my guy. My top two niggas is Grease and Chris. Hmm. Like Grease is my that's my I don't want to call him my DJ. But nigga, if I need a DJ and I need that nigga, nigga, he's there, nigga. Hmm. Like if I need a nigga there, if I need a video, if I need support, like nah. Nigga put me on his podcast show and all that. Like, nah, I fuck with Grease and Chris. Wow. Those wow. are the two niggas where I would never have to question loyalty. Hmm. I heard that. Nah, never, never. I'm not gonna question it. Yeah. They, they, they. You know, you would do something dumb to jump off a cliff, and your niggas would be like, "Yo, fuck that nigga, do it." Those niggas will smack me back off the cliff. Like, <laughs> like no, for real. Like, yeah. get the you fucking stupid. Like, I like niggas like that. Yeah. When I'm wrong, they're not scared to check me. Yeah. I was just telling, talking that with Allie. Like, mm-hmm. you know, when we Chris would tell me about like myself that. in a heartbeat. Take that the fuck off Instagram. You bugging. 
Nah, that nigga made me. No, you're bugging. Take that off. You wildin'. Yo, why are you doing that? Like, nah, Chris would check me in a heartbeat. Mm. Close to like if you yeah. close. Nah. Nah. And, I don't take, and I don't take it personal. Yeah. I don't take that shit That's personal. That's a lot of love, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. genuine love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's genuine. It was a point, man. You was you was out in the streets, man, making that noise. It was the two stepping. Um, you was at every fucking club, party, um magic. DJ Magic riding out. He was holding you down too. How did that? How did that relationship come? Because you, you actually, y'all want to see? Look, look, look. You want to know something? I'm gonna be so real right now. See, a lot of people don't know this, but now we're gonna speak on it. Yeah, those wasn't plugs. I was running down on niggas. Mm. Nobody plugged me in with none of the people you see me with, from Drewski to Magic to Self to Fifty Cent Tycoon Party. No, I was running down. I seen fucking um. I had a nigga named Hef. I said, yo, Hef, what's up? He said, yo, I want to do the Riding Out DJ Magic. He said, yo, you know he charged for it. I don't care. Paid him for it. Boom. Mm. Got it done. Seen DJ Self in the club. Yo, what's up? Yo, I want to get you in my video clip for two-stepping. All right, come on. Go to the... He dancing. Seen oh, Drewski. Oh, really? Seen Drewski. Nigga, I was running down on Drewski in Jersey. Mm. Drewski was the very first person to play my song on the radio. That's why I, I, I got genuine love for Drewski. I could hit Drewski DM and he gonna respond. Mm. Like Drewski is for the people. Wow. Like Drewski will entertain the pe- It's certain DJs that will leave you on scene. Respectfully, I'm talking about leave you on scene. Drewski would at least respond. Yeah. Yo, can I get on your mixtape? All right, look, I'll let you know. Hey, yo, I got this going on, this showcase event. Pull up. Like, no, oh, Drewski. Wow. Nah, Drewski in there. At, nigga, Drewski told me pull up the jersey plenty of times. I got Drewski brother number in my phone. I don't even call him. Mm. I don't call him. What was that like hearing your first record on the radio? Because I know I was a rapper. I was in the I was in the studio with Teardrop when they was playing it. Wow. My man Love called my phone and said, "Where you at?" I said, "I'm in the studio." He said, "Nigga, your song is on the radio." And I said, "Get the fuck off my phone, bro!" And I hung up on him. He called me back. He's playing the song in the wow. background, and I'm thinking he's just playing the song. I get out the studio. I check my DM. Nigga, Drewski hit me. Yo, did you just hear me play your shit on the radio? Oh, this nigga was dead serious, bro. <laughs> I thought you was capping, nigga. Like, I thought you was cap. Mm. I thought you was, I thought yeah, you was pulling yeah, my string, yeah. bro. When Drewski said, I said, oh, shit. And I started running down on Drewski every, every fucking Thursday in Jersey. Yeah. Every time I was running down on him, running down. Nah, Drewski support the people. Mm. Drewski support the people. But no, I was out, same with Tycoon Weekend. Yeah, Tycoon, I didn't get invited thing, for that with my fifth. Hell no, my man Grease, no yeah, yo. So what I did was I said, yo, I gotta find a way to get in this fucking VIP. I said, fuck it, I'm gonna take this chance. I spent a hundred dollars on each ticket, bought two of them. Called Grease, yo, what's up? What you doing? Nothing, yo, fuck that. I got a ticket for you. We going to Tycoon. All right, come on. He said, yo, man, if I see Ye, you know he gonna pull us up to the VIP. Say that. I made it my objective. That's right. That nigga to see that. That's right. I'm not gonna lie. I made it my objective. Yo, did that nigga go right there? Look, he right there, my nigga. And sure enough, I swear to God, once Ye seen Grease, nigga told security, yo, pull him up. So I'm going up with Grease. Security tried to block me at first. And then Ye looked at him. The security was like, nah, let them up. Mm. Let them up. So I'm watching. I thought 50 ain't know who I was. 50 knew who I was. Let me tell you Get how. Get the fuck out, yo. I put the, I, yo, nah, 50 you, be watching Southside. I follow you on watching. Instagram, and you're right. 100% 50, 50 right. 50 he watching. was I'm with him. I'm going to tell you why. He 50 was be with watching. Him. I swear to God. 50 was like, it's mad people asking. Is this brawlic Spanish nigga with 50? Like, brawlic Spanish nigga with a bed. So, a lot of people asking 50 for pictures. And he's saying no. Like, nah, I'm chilling. Like, nah. So, the Spanish nigga like, no. So, 50 on his way like going to a different part of the of the VIP in the yeah. Tycoon balcony. The nigga looked at me and said, what's up? So I said, what's up? He said, you ain't going to ask for the picture? I said, hell yeah. That's why when you see me, <laughs> me take the picture with 50, caught me off guard. Yeah. That's why I'm smiling so hard in the mm-hmm. picture. Yeah. I'm smiling so hard because I thought he was going to dub the picture. Yeah, yeah. I just watched the nigga say he didn't want to take a picture yeah, with like yeah. 10 other people. Yeah. And then he said, you ain't going to take the picture? It was like, yo, nah, that nigga know who the fuck I am, nigga. Like, nah, I got to keep going. Mm. Like, nah, he may not, just because they not liking, reposting. Yeah, 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 you don't know who's watching. 
Yeah. You don't know who's fucking watching. Yeah, that's a fact. It's a reason he took that pick. So when he when I took it, I had the biggest fucking smile because it was like, yo, <laughs> this nigga just told me to take the picture. I ain't asked for it. He said, where you camera? You know why? Because he knows anything he affiliated with, he's going to boost their career up. Yeah. So he don't play he really don't like that yeah. for everybody like that. So that was a good well, green light for you. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Green light. Damn. So how'd you get and how'd you get a song with Kaya? Which was hot, two stepping. She was on the remix, actually. You want to know the honest truth, or you want me to give you? Uh, like, no, oh, well, hold on, hold on. No, I want we the don't fake know truth. nothing but yeah, honesty yeah, yeah, on yeah. here. So for you to say I, you I want, want me to be honest, pot, but thanks that was because. That was, <laughs> yeah, thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm gonna be dead honest. That was that came accidentally because. No disrespect. Shout out my guy Emac. Emac did some some stir up the pot shit. And he had Kaya feeling a certain way, and Kaya threw me a shot. Oh. She threw a shot at me one day, a sub, and I caught it. And when I caught it, I hit We All In Chris, like, why is she subbing me? And he was like, yo, you was just talking about her in the interview. And I was like, no the fuck I wasn't. And then I had to go look at the interview, and I said, oh shit, I did say her name. What happened was, Emac was like, yo, I seen you just post Bad Baby song. Why you ain't never post Kaya Baby song? My dumb ass respond because Kaya Baby never reposted me. I just responded. Yeah. So she felt a certain way or she put out a freestyle and was like, I'm two-stepping with my foot on their neck. Ooh. And I caught it. And I reached out to Chris like, yo, like I don't have no problem with her. And Chris was like, yo, why don't you just nip that in the bud and just do a song with her before people think y'all beefing? That's L. Mm. And I said, I right, tell her get on the remix. So Chris told me reach out to her. I reached out to her and she got on the song. But that was because I didn't want her to think like the way the question was asked, it was like, I get why she she responded like that. Yeah. But it was like that wasn't my intention. That wasn't my narrative. That's ill. You will for that. Because remember, that wasn't my remember narrative. the song that I had you do, the self-destruction song, right? I had to get permission. From these rappers to who they don't want to rap with. So she brought up your name, like like who's on the song? Well, I said YP and and uh, Gav and all these people. She was she said she was cool with everybody. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know it was like that. I'm trying to put together some type yeah. of self destruction uh -huh. song with all yeah. of my favorite rappers in the hood. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. So, but the shit worked out though, and the yeah. shit was dope. The shit was real dope. Nah, so, shout out Kaya. Word, Kaya, oh, Kaya, that's my chick. But yeah, Emac stirred that up a right. little bit and it, it had us like, but then once we chopped it, it was like, nah, that shit ain't about Franks. Mm -hmm. Like, she's a rapper. She gonna respond the way she responds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how, but what I'm gonna do, like, bar her up? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. let's be real. I'm not trying to be funny. No disrespect. She's very talented. I'm YP, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm, Bars is what I do. Mm -hmm. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look weird. If yeah, it would have been. Yeah, it was meaningless. It would have been, 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 been corny. That, yeah. It would have been corny, and that's not my intent, because that's yeah. not the energy I got for her. Yeah, yeah. It's not the energy I have for her, so why make it something that yeah. you, you don't and have? That, and that little sub was just between y'all two. Yeah. Really. I caught it, though. Yeah, I yeah, caught yeah, it. Two stepping with my foot on their neck. I yeah. said, nigga, she talking to me. Yeah. I said, she talking to me. Chris said, but you said her name in the interview. I said, bro, I didn't say her name. I had to go back and listen to that shit. I said, oh shit, I said that. And it's ill because the circle made it dope for you to yeah. even know that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You had yeah. to go to Chris to, yeah. to make sure it was right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Nah. So that was that was kind of... If she didn't know Chris, it would have been probably some other yeah. shit. Yeah, she yeah. we all in. I'm we all in. Chris we all in. Like, nice loyalty over everything. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I'm not going to pick Chris in the, in the middle. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. sides and do all that dumb shit. That's, that's a fact. Funny. But what, nah. I liked, what I liked about it and how I would, you know, be in... Just as a per, an artist, as a human being, I, I take it as a sign of respect that you would even think that I'm good enough that you would diss me in your freestyle. You, you see what I'm saying? Because when somebody's really whack, I'm not putting you in your free. You know what I'm saying? That's like a like Yo, a promotion, bar bar, bro. Like bar for bar is what I do. Like I'm yeah. good at bars. Yeah. A lot of people are good at things. Like Kendrick Lamar, J Cole, they're good at that lyrical. Rapping shit. Yeah, they can tell a story. And they they can, they, bro. They can tell but a story you can make good hooks too, though. Like you can oh, make yeah, a I'm good a hook master now. Like it was like I feel like I was, stopped doing bar for bar and started doing more songs. Yeah, because songs is like now that I yeah. love I love songs. Yeah, 
my my downfall back then was this. I never used to want to write on original beats. If you had a song out on the radio, I would always write to that beat. But mm. this was my downfall. The song I would write would always be in that formation yeah. of mm. the song yeah. that they laid. Yeah. So yeah. it has no originality. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. I'm just remixing that's a your fact. fucking that's song. That's good for mixtapes. Yeah. Yeah. I good can't for that. do that. Yeah. Once I started the feel of original beats, bro, I, I, you don't hear me rap over niggas' beats no more. Mm. Wake and bake. Like Punchline punchline Monday or shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm throwing up a freestyle. A yeah. song, I would never lay a song to another niggas' beat. Not yeah. wasting time doing a video. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. doing yeah. that. All that shit is just promotion. Yeah. yeah. You can't get paid off of it. That's a fact. You can't. That's a fact. I'm not doing that. Who's your top five rappers in the hood? T- top five underground rappers. Excuse me. I'm going to do it like that. Top five underground rappers. It can be anybody. Bro, I don't, re- I don't be, I don't want to sound, this is thanks for accent. I got to be real. I don't be listening to niggas, bro. What the fuck is it? YP, YP, No, YP, I'm not even being YP, real. YP, YP. As far as, uh, no, I'm going to give credit to, I'm going to give credit. I'm going to say Kai is one, right? Matter of fact, now nah, I'm going to show Queens love. I'm going to say Kai is one. I'm going to say Dill is one. I listen to a few of Dilla's shit. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out my guy Piff Montana. Oh, Piff, yeah, he was on the remix. Yeah, yeah shout out my nigga yeah, Piff Montana. Yeah, we gonna say Skippy. You know who Skip is? Spanish, um, Spanish girl Skip. Nah, you don't know Skip. Can we get her on? Yeah, I bet. Mm-hmm. Bet I'll get her on. We got Skip, and we need one more. YP to YG, no doubt. Mm-hmm. YP to YG, <laughs> top five sound rappers. Oh, oh, major easy, rappers, yeah. Easy. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna disagree with my top five. That's your top five. Because exactly. Big ain't in it. That's your what? top five. Because Big ain't in it. That's Why your not? top Why five. Not? And I just switched up my top five. You could do that too. Because yeah. of, of lately, like the last two years, I took one person out my top five and put another person in. Oh. So tell my original one. top five was this. It was M, Pac, Fifth, Kiss, and Hove. That's I can my see that. top five. I can five. see that. Yeah, that's not a bad. I just replaced Hove with Drake because let me tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Oh my god. I'm gonna tell you why. Oh my god. Listen, 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 listen. Yo. Let me speak, please. Let me speak. I'm gonna tell you why. Oh god. Let me speak, please. Okay. Let me speak, please. please. I just had to get up. Just, just let out. Heart attack. Please I just let, let me speak, gas. bro. I, 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 that's what I just said. You're not gonna like it. I just said that. Oh I just said that. But y'all gotta let me explain. Oh, you right. You right. You right. You're right. right. We listening. <laughs> I like Hove better as a businessman. I like Hove better as he's Jay Z. Like nobody can compete with him as far as a business aspect. No, as far as relevancy and stretch and making hits back to back. No, Drake. Drake. Drake has a fucking twelve year of platinum hits right now. Hove don't got Hove stopped a long time ago, right? Drake don't have to rap right now. Hove don't have to rap right now. But to me, Drake has more hits that the, that this generation knows and we know than Hove does. No, our generation know Hove. His generation know Hove. Mm-hmm. If you ask this generation for 10 Hove hits, they can't do it. They can't tell you 10 Hove hits. You ask them niggas for 10 Drake hits, they could give you 20, bro. But you put... I, I want to get his eyes. <laughs> yeah, you put... You put what, did, let me get it right. You had Jada in there too? I had Jada. Okay, that, that now Jada has Nobody's 10 hits. Nobody's fucking with Jada. He has 10 hits? Nobody's fucking with Jada. I'm asking you this. Did he have 10 Fuck hits? Fuck hits. Bar for... You yeah, just yeah, said that's, that's, that's about Jada Drake though. Yo, listen. So it's kind because, of conflicting to me. No, it's not because, because bar for bar, head for head, line for line, nobody fucking with Kiss. Nobody. Dead or alive. Nobody. And that's just how I that's feel. A pain, that's a pain. So let, Nobody. Me, let me ask you this then. You, you say um, Drake got more hits. Being a person, a, a, a bar for bar rapper, does writing your lyrics matter to you? Unless you are, unless you are R&B singer or, or, you mel- or you melodize and you a melody rapper. If you a rapper, yeah, that shit matters. If you're a melody rapper, for example... If somebody melodized the hook for Lil TJ or A Boogie and Rumpy, went up you there, dancing, bro. You dancing. That, I'm dancing. Yo, that nigga, Drake, shouldn't be in the top 10 for somebody writing your shit. Yeah. He Who's shouldn't writing be his shit? Who? You never Who heard really? nobody's writing his shit? Bro, because, bro, if you wrote, bro, 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 Drake, he, he bought a hook. 
That's he, it. Then nobody write for him. Nobody he bought a, he bought a hook. Nah, he wrote that song. He bought the song. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't hear this. I didn't listen. No, 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 I don't know about this. That yeah. one. I don't know about this. He wrote a song. Yeah. The whole song. Yes. Yeah. But Drake can outright. Drake can outright any nigga that's out right now. I'm don't just do that. asking a question. We not. We not talking can, about that. How can it? you put? Yes. How so? So. Hove wrote for Dr. Dre. What are you talking about? But nobody puts Dr. Dre in their top five. That's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. That's the only That's the only No doubt. That's fucked up. Shout out to Dre. <laughs> no, nah, but you could have your top five personally because you like that. That's the top five. But to take Dre Jay top out, five, yeah. bro. that was kind of, oh, that was kind of cringing to me. Yeah, to me. Listen, and keep Jada in? As a person who Jada Hove not dog. fucking with Jada? Hov is fucking with Jada. Now you just said, oh my God. you just said, this is you list. took Drake out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you took Jay out because Drake has 10 hits. Right? That's what you said. That I was said, his, that's that not was his what testimony. I said. That's not what I said. Let me, let me, let me elaborate. We got to take. We got to take. <laughs> what, I said was, what I said was exactly this. I said, if you ask this generation 10 Jay-Z songs, they can't name them. And I but said, if you ask them 10 Drake hits, that's they can fact. name 20. That's a fact. That's what I Hold said. Hold on, but so you said Jada Kiss. Yeah, yeah, do <laughs> doesn't have 10 hits. Yes, he does. So Jada Kiss is in versus let me by ask himself. And me... fucked up the whole I'm fucked up the whole dip set. What are you talking about? He ain't got hits. Hold he just on, proved he got on. hits. I have a question. Oh, so you 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 replaced him because of relevancy? No, I replaced him because as far as hit wise, as okay. far as as far as Drake just listen. Drake, I don't like it. Wavi. Right I don't <laughs> like it. I don't like listen. it. <laughs> Yo, listen. Drake just may be a better song. He's not a better rapper, but he's a better songwriter than Hov. Yes, he is. He's a better songwriter, bro. That nigga does R and B. What was my question? Top five rappers. He does R and B. He does <laughs> pop. He does rap. That nigga could do salsa and go platinum, what bro. Did, like, what did he ask you though? What, what did he you? ask you? He asked me it was what was rap, my top rap. five rappers. Now you talking a chameleon, a chameleon there. But he's, he, he's, 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 a, he's a rapper. He got all different angles. All right, so if you put Hov, watch this. If you put Hov and Drake in the verses. You telling me Drake can't go toe to toe with Hov? I did not say that. Hell no, I didn't say that. He's gonna out hit him. He might. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he will. That's I'm not arguing that. Home. But you're not talking about. Yo, that's just not a nice bro. Wait a minute. He's gonna out hit Hov. Hov is gonna out rap him. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about rapping right now. All of all of this niggas give a fuck about is the hook. What they, what yeah. they got to do with your top five, bro? That's why I asked that saying, question. Like, all right, you 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 right. You well, Drake is in my top five now. I put him in there like two years. But ago. you took out the the, the nah, goal. All right, so we got to go goal. top six. Fuck it. Like, <laughs> if that's the case, if it's you want to be real, I'm gonna be real with you. There should be like a top five A and a top five B because Fab is top five and somebody's top five too. That's so a fact. five that's is Fab is nice. That's a fact. So this should be like a top. Five A list, top five. I put him B-list. over Jada. Or you should just yeah. do a top. I put yeah, five I, over yeah. Jada. You fucking drunk. Now you bumped your head. Why? Because I don't agree with you. You know that. Because I don't agree with you. You, you, you. Fab agree. is over. Um, over Jada. J- J- Jada to me. Fab is nice. To me. He's, he's retarded. Mixtapes was hotter. Bro, nobody fucking with Kiss. That's your opinion. I mean, that's nobody your opinion. With that's your opinion. Fab, Fab is tall. That was uh, extra, uh, extra tough. But they I, both I, have crazy word plays. That's yeah. a fact. I that's do a fact. think Jada got a better delivery. Fab is a that's smooth. A fact. You know what? Fab got a Fab is more smooth. And you don't catch yeah. on. He's more slick. He's more slick. Like, he's more he's, slick. Yeah. I think he's more yeah. clever. He's more slick. swaggy. Yeah. Like yeah. more, more yeah. yeah. Like he'll give you balls and you'll like the song. That's like, a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I can like that rich. What's that? Whatever that new song he did with him and um. What's your top five? My top five? Yeah. Oh yeah, I never heard this. Let me hear this. Yeah, what's your top five? I never heard the top five. Definitely hold. I don't know what that is. Yes. <laughs> Definitely hold. Hold. Ah, oh, don't hold M, Biggie, Pac. Why is? Go ahead. I'm gonna let you finish. Biggie, no, not Biggie. No, I'm, I'm sorry, not Biggie, because Biggie only put two albums, so he got. I need to see somebody with a longer stretch. Um, that's be, the only reason why. Other than that, that, he would be. I be saying that he's a good rapper, but he like you gotta think impact though. I know Biggie Impact was uh, undeniable. Mm. I mean, oh, I may have to do it then. Why? Because he passed. No, nah, no. Pop Smoke had he a had good impact. No, no, he no. had niggas no, no. in no, no. the Gucci. His impact was you crazy. Gotta watch I that. do consider impact. A you, you, know a you know what's you know what's you gotta watch that Biggie um 
They got like a thing on YouTube. They got episodes of him. You'll see why he was so great. Yeah, no, you watch that and you might Both change your mind. Biggie. That's I a fact. That's a fact. No, but I have a question for you. Why is not Biggie in your top five? I'm gonna be honest. I wouldn't. No, no. In, in, in his, I wanted like, like, not because I just he's wasn't not a big, good. I wasn't. I was. I'm a Biggie fan, but I wasn't too big on a Biggie fan. Like I wasn't too big on. Mm. I'm a Biggie fan from. I was more Tupac head. I don't know if that was like an impact on it, bro. <laughs> okay. But like, no, I let's, ask, let's ask our co-host who like, was that top five. Like, yeah, let's see who was that top five first and foremost. Yeah. Oh, you damn sure didn't. So <laughs> after, after he say his, you say yours. You still got one more. I, um, I'm putting J. Cole in there. I'm not mad oh, at that. Shit. I'm nah, not mad yeah, at that. That's why I said you need a top ten. I'm not mad at that. You need a top ten. I'm not mad at J. Cole. That's why I said A side yeah. and B side. I'm not mad at yeah. no J. Cole, yeah, nigga. Like, I'm not mad. He's better than fucking Jada Kiss too. Yeah, he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gonna, and you said fifty. That. You I'm put fifty in your top five. Yeah, he's big queens. Oh, no, what? I fucked with fifty too. Nobody did it as fast as fifty. Nobody. He just he's my favorite. Fuck for, his, yeah, he was like, my favorite rapper for us. For you know, what and saying, Fifty so. learned the game. The only person that did it, as far as relevancy outside of music, the way Fifty did it is Diddy. Fifty said, "Okay, the music is slowing down. I'm gonna be relevant other places, nigga." Started yeah. fucking with the water. Started fucking with the movies. Let me let me hear our top five, yeah. and then and then and then we talk about. Oh, <laughs> yeah, what's your top five? All right, Jada, uh, Pop, Biggie, uh, Fab. And Luda. Ball heavy oh up in God. there. You put Luda. Don't, don't judge me. Luda, 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 Luda is talented, though. He's, he's talented. Luda's he's very underrated to and me. Jay Z's not him, man. No, I'm not. So Luda's not oh, Jay Z. Don't do that face like that. Bro. Don't do that. So no, don't do that, Don't do that. Don't do I'm that. not saying better. I'm you saying like that better. Did you see that? All right. <laughs> like, I feel like he's really underrated. Like, Luda, yo, he's smooth with it and his his flow. Like, and his words. I like the albums, B. He, what's his world play <laughs> though? Nah. He's Let's just, be honest. I didn't like this shit. Dude. He's silly. That was oh, judge silly. me. It's I like, mine, right? I like them That's hits. The hits was the hits. Yeah, yeah. They didn't catch you with a track or two, but I... Like, I'm damn. Not, there was not one album where I went from front to back. Oh, this yeah, is it, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, yeah, it, yeah. It. Hope had that several times. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, see how, you see how a lot of rap, like a, a, lot, a lot of rap states, they sleep on New York, but when you name your top five rappers, 70% of the list is from New York. That's a fact. Either one or two. That's, yeah, that's a fact. That's I never hear five really. Is, I've never heard a like a down south top five. Only person that I would put in from the down south would be uh would be Scarface. Scarface, the way Scarface held it down for so many years, and I feel like he wasn't even rapping for me. But you know, once I got exposed to him, it was just like I can go back all the way to to the eighties when he first started with the Ghetto Boys and be like, yo. This shit is dope. And when you hear that, um, but that's like mid, that's song, Midwest, right? Ain't it? Um, yeah, we but about Midwest, that's the South, yeah. Southwest, yeah. Yeah. but it's South, you think of Atlanta, there. Florida. Yeah, yeah. That's what you think of. The best out of the South to me, maybe like Ti. I think Ti is the best. Ti, I think mm. I like Jeezy a little more. Uh, yeah, but nah, Ti, yeah, Jeezy. yeah, you gotta give it to Ti. I, yeah, I give it to Yeah, T.I. I'm more, giving it to Jeezy, Like that consistency thing we talking about? He was consistent at yeah. one time. Oh, yeah. Hits, hits, hits. Yeah, he was yeah, making yeah, hits. Yeah. I just like Jeezy albums better. Like, yeah, yeah. That's kind of personal. That's like 50. That's, yeah, exactly. 50 got that feeling. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you like him personally. But, but you won't put him on your lyricist list? Me, this is my yeah. reason. But, but I got I, all his mixtapes, yeah, all yeah, albums yeah. of 50. I love 50, personally. 50's not a lyricist. He's a he don't fan. care about that. He's a fucking that. songwriter. Yeah, like, that that's a fact. Hooks is his hook is his main thing. Yeah. His he care about stupid, his hook. Bro. Yeah. He his care hook, about his hook. hook. Make the songs. Yeah. Now, 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 we're speaking of rap. But his lyrics be so real, though. Like... It's he, real, could you it's believe him? Yeah, you believe I believe him. him. It's, yeah. it's, it's simple and straight to the point. Yeah. Biggie formula. That was yeah, big. Yeah, you know that's a fact. That's a fact. But I have I have a question for you. What is your favorite song from you and why? Like, that's a that good you question. Me, I, I want to direct it back to you. Me, <laughs> me, myself, and I. Oh, God damn, baby. Give me some love. That's my shit right there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'll play that that's, shit, baby. Me, myself, and I. That's my shit when I, I, I that's that's in my workout playlist, B. That shit is so fire. My to me. favorite like, song I've ever done. Why though? Because I was going through some hard shit. And when I felt like I had people with me, and when you turn around, it was nobody there. Mm. And it was like, yo, damn, like all I really got is me. Like I don't have nobody. Like 
I was going through some shit at that time, bro. And that song is my most personal. You was in your feelings when you made that song. Hell all yeah, I got is, is me. All I got is Do me. That shit. Myself already know. Mm. I had a talk with I. I was speaking from the soul. He said, please listen to me. Because who else could you call? You know I'm always here. When you're back against the wall, like, against the wall. Hey, okay. I'm always here with my back against the wall. You gotta do the, the singing part too. That's my shit. <laughs> Notice when you things got rough, the song. Also, all of the people around me, around me. All I have is me, myself, and I. They was there when the sun shined, but when the days got cloudy, cloudy. All I have is me, myself, and I. Mm. Me, myself, and I. Mm. Me, myself, and I. Mm. Me, myself. All I have is me, myself, and I. Ooh. Me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. That's how the hook went. Yeah, that shit was fire to me. Like yeah. I was like, and, facts. And uh, this is how real it is for me. I didn't even tell you that, B. Like I, you yeah. know, I just peeped from a distance, and I wanted to show you that I was really playing. Remember, I sent this shit. Mm-hmm. I was like, this shit was like. Whatever that year that came out, that was like my like top place. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He didn't, you didn't even know that, that that was possible. Like, they show that to y'all? Yeah, facts. <laughs> you know what facts. I'm saying? Like, but, you know, I always fuck with you and was always proud of you. Just for, you know, I wish you could keep, could have kept going. And because, like, it was like a minute. You just kept hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. You know what I'm saying? Like, but. Bro, I got 13 unreleased songs. I tell my nigga Kreese I want to drop an album. He keep yeah. telling me, just drop singles first. He said, get your single out there first. And then drop the album. You don't want to drop an album and then mm-hmm. still like unheard yeah. music. Yeah. That's a fact. So that's why I came back out with still two stepping. No doubt, no doubt. Because two stepping is where it started. Yeah. And still two stepping is like nah, nigga. I'm I'm still two stepping. Yeah, no doubt. Let me ask you this. It's two questions, but how do you feel about drill rappers? Not a big fan of it, but I respect it because it's like you can't knock when music change. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you you may not agree with it, yeah. but you can't knock it. Nigga, back in the day, they was hip hop. They hip yeah. the, if they still rap like that now, we'll look at them like they're crazy. Yeah. But that was their generation yeah. of rap. Yeah. Same way our generation of rap was lyrics and bars. Yeah. Then the generation before now, they generation was the yeah. ki- the was the because hip hop the the stupid shit. Hip hop, yeah. Like, yeah, hip hop has the drill. change though. Yeah. It it's going to keep it. Bro, five years from now, it's not going to be drill. You got to realize, 10 years ago, niggas was auto-tuning. Yeah. You mm-hmm. fuck, last, fuck last time you heard a nigga say, yo, put on that auto-tune for me. Ah, uh, the, the Midwest <laughs> dudes do it. Uh, who, Lil Durk is heavy still on that shit. That's because Lil... He, yeah, those he, are, he was known back then. Those yeah, are yeah, harmonized yeah, rappers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take out the harmonized rappers. If you think rappers. about hip-hop is the only one that music genre is like that. Yeah. That has to change. Yeah. Because it's, it's the youth. Hip-hop is the only yeah. generation. Yeah, it's, it's the youth. The youth always... Got a different feeling. Yeah. Hip hop is the only genre with age limit to it. That's a fact. Yeah, that's mm. a fact. That's a, that's a fact. That's a fact. You can be seventy years. Whitney Houston could be seventy years old talking about I, I'm every woman, and we gonna clap that motherfucker up. Mm-hmm. Hov was on stage at seventy five talking about I got ninety nine problems. We gonna look at him. But like if you crazy. think about it though, to be technical, rap is all music. It's still you, hard you know though. why I say that? Because you you hear R&B, you have to rhyme. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You hear rock, it, it rhymes. Yeah. All music has rhymes in it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So hip hop no, always not, was there. Not all music have rhymes. No, I mean yeah. most of most, most of music. Now, most of music. because of hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's ABC rap. Yeah. yeah. It's like ABC, one, two, three, simplicity, hook, listen, dance. Yeah. It's like that shit is programmed for that. Yeah, it is. It I is. like drill because I love the energy. And I and I love the fact that I, I don't love the killing. I don't like that part. I'm about to get to that. I'm about to, go ahead. I'm going to let you finish. I, don't, I, I like the fact that one, New York found a sound because for a minute it it, it That's felt not a like New it York was. Sound. It's that is New not York. A, no, it's not. <laughs> That's a Chicago sound. No, they don't rap. New York drill don't sound like Chicago drill. Because New York drill get the beat from. I thought you were talking about drill. Period. Nah, nah, nah New just, York drill. Yeah, New York okay. drill. Like the five each. It's a difference. It's a difference. New York drill. They, they yeah, all, they don't they sound. Spin. I would, I they would all put spin the same. Kill it, kill it. That's what I mean. That's the, nah, the same it's a sound. You see, y'all ain't on it. Like you, you. The flow is different, but the it, beats are different. The beat is different. Every they rap different. Mm-hmm. But what's the intention of the song though? Isn't it same? Spin a block. I mean, it's, the intention the same, but. Everybody spin the block, roll the op up in the pack, you know, leave them all. That's a fact. Don't, don't. That's what I mean. Like when people trivialize people's music. 
Because it, 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 it is, because you can, they can, when you was coming up, that's what they tried to do to you. And when, oh, he's just a, he's just a, a, battle, a battle rapper. rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you don't do that. Like if you don't understand it, say you don't understand it, but don't go and say it, to trivialize it. Like, cause you don't even know what they're hitting for. Cause you're not in, you're not in that pulse. You're after so that. So tell me your definition of drill music. Yeah. If I don't know what drill music is. Well, I'm not saying it's that. That could be the essence of it. I think that's the essence of it. The, to drill, you don't have kids. to listen to it. But to the know sound what it is. of the drill is different from region to region because the sound of drill that we know now in New York comes from the, the production comes from England because that's where. Oh no no no! I'm not talking about, about the. Beat. Yeah, I'm you're talking about. The yeah, we're talking about the lyrics. But every what generation didn't kill somebody in the song? No, no but it's bro, like strictly they, for that's that. That's, 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 that's what that means. No, but they I've never heard of drill and stuff. I've, I've never heard a strip song for drill like in the in the. Yeah, like what's like, the, all the topics of, of drill music? They, they talk about. I mean, they talk about uh, girls and stuff like. I, they talk I have about a daughter who plays this shit, so I know like they really. Yeah, but is that drill music? I mean, that's the drill music. Yeah. Like that, that main it gives thing a drill they vibe about. Because if you're trying to keep it in one box, then no. But that's not how music goes. Music starts here, then goes here, then goes here, then goes there. The and white man don't care. He's still going to put the dollar behind it. Go ahead, kill each other. Because it's popular. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it goes by what's money, popular. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't, let's not trivialize that. Like no, but, but you got to because. What you you know. Know. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you why. Okay. When you hear drill music, right? Mm. What automatically would you think of drill? Not you. I'm not talking okay. about the masses. I'm talking about the masses. What are they going to think about that type of music if they hear drill music? Facts. I mean, I guess they're going to think about killing. That's hey, yo, right. That's all I was saying. Hey, yo, ho, listen, that's the only have... thing I was saying. Now, what you were saying, it, it might not be right by that, but yeah. that's what it's materialized as. That's well, that. Did you do what? So, this is the, you know, so when you hear gangster music, uh, what, what do you, you gonna think of gangster shit? What's gangster shit? Gangster, I'm killing. Well, type gangster, of shit too. Gangster, gangster music. Gangster that music. that doesn't mean that somebody wasn't. There's not talented people within I'm those. Not that's not true. That. That's I'm not, not true. You can make a gangster that. song okay. without killing somebody. That. You can. No, we not. You Fab can made a song called killing. "Keeping It Gangst." It was a hit, and it was yeah. commercial. You look on YouTube, yeah. you put in drill music, yeah. look what comes up. Look what comes up. The no, type not, of songs that come up. If you told a whole big drill album right now, you know in that album he's gonna be smoking somebody. Huh? I said, if you said, Hov, we need you to make a drill album right now. In that album, you're going to be rolling up an op. You're going to be smoking a, a smoking a pack in the op. Mm. Yeah, so I, it's like I, drill I, I, music. I, would, I don't want to hear Driggs and drill. Like, that's not your vibe. Like, Y'all he might could do it and that put it as killing somebody. Huh? Now, if you could freak it like that and have a drill yeah. sound but not talk about of course killing can, somebody, yeah. then that'll be ill. But that's how gangster music evolved from not just killing people to... That's a fact. But most drill songs are killing ops and shit like that. I'm most gonna, of them are. I'm not going to go on what's the most because I don't do the math in the, in the, in the science. No, I was saying it. if you look on YouTube and you yeah. put drill music, it's going to be that, that category is going to be most right. of that. I, I would like for them to... I, I, you know, this is why I want a drill rapper on here. Like, I really do, because I want his, you know what I'm saying, his Get perspective on, on it. So, I think one of the last questions I wanted to ask you was, um, how do you feel about the current explosion of women on, in, in, in rap music now? I love it, you know what I'm saying? It's a good and a bad. Break I'll tell you why it's a good and a bad. It's a good because... Ain't no difference from a nigga talking about shooting a nigga on the block and rapping and making money and her talking about her using her explicit body to make money with the music. Music is music, regardless mm -hmm. of what the art is. But then you have, you got to worry about your kids listening to that shit. It's like, okay, yeah. for me, it's cool. Yeah. But now your daughter thinks she really living that lifestyle that she talking about. She, your daughter don't know she ain't really popping pussy on the handstand and doing all that shit. Yeah. She married in the house with two kids and her husband, and this, that, and the third, and they living happily ever after. Mm. But the video says something different, or the image says something different. So I don't knock the hustle with them, yeah. but you got to be mindful with your kids to let them yeah. know, like, yo, it's just entertainment. Mm. It's just entertainment. Ain't nothing different from this. And Arnold Schwarzenegger is not really the Terminator. <laughs> He's not really shooting yeah. shit up. He was actually the governor of California. <laughs> like, you got to break that shit yeah. down. Like, no. Cardi B is not out here up and really stuck. No, she's in the house with her husband, mm -hmm. laid yeah. up with two kids, like on a trip, yeah, yeah, yeah. taking care of them, yeah. doing some shit we not doing. Like, yeah, that's a fact. That's just her entertainment. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's 
that's her stage. That's her. Yeah. That's her act. Mm-hmm. Cause once they once you differ the two, yeah, yeah. But yeah. no, I don't. I don't mind at all. I don't mm-hmm. knock it. You might as if you gonna knock it, you gotta tell a nigga stop rapping about shooting niggas. Yeah, you gotta tell mm-hmm. a nigga stop rapping about the block. Tell a nigga stop rapping about guns and drugs. Yeah. Before you, you tell her stop rapping about her pussy. Pussy is good. It's a beautiful. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Without pussy, none of us would be here. That's a fact. It's a big fact. Bug, you got anything? You know what I want. What you got? Them sixteen. I need a sixteen Ooh, or thirty 16. or whatever you want to do. How we doing this? Bust it down acapella. right there into that camera. Oh, acapella? A- acapella. acapella. <laughs> oh, we doing acapella. <laughs> yeah. What you me doing? Out. I'm outside practicing no, shit. I, 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 I can't, I can't pay that. for uh, Brooklyn. Right. I can't pay for uh, Scarlet. I can't pay for that nah, shit fuck right all that. We going to go. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, we can't afford her. I said, the truth is, I don't trust niggas swear that you niggas be switch siding. I don't trust not none of you hoes because all of you bitches be dick riding. Give you a bag that's all on your side for all of the time you was shit popping. Me and my niggas is all in the field, but none of my niggas gonna pick cotton. Talk about mine, I get on my Will Smith. That mean I'm a Chris Rockham. Get out of pocket, still in your profit. I ain't talking about no pickpocket. Oh, you icy all in your watch to me and my niggas go wrist shopping. Time is money, I throw on this mask, then you know I'm a TikTok em. Mixing peanut butter with the jelly before I had the hoes up in the telly. Before I had the clientele in the cellar, yo, I was busting food stamps in the Deli. In the trap house. Then I tune in the belly. Got your bitch in the back room eating meatballs, but it ain't no spaghetti. You walk like a fatty. I had the clips in the floorboard. In the attic, I kept me the desi. At 14, was a young boy. Under baggy sweats, I kept the machete. Yo, I don't really think you won the party. You're left in the streets just like you confetti. I'm Southside. I am something bully. I am big queens and I'm repping the heavy. That's <laughs> Why you, you want to have people, you know what I'm saying, not want to rap on this motherfucker? You, come with your best foot forward in this motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. You, you come here, you have to rap. Support the platform. Yeah, it's an interview, but in return, bless some bars on the platform. Yeah. yeah. Bless some bars on the platform. Show love to the platform that shows you love. Thanks for asking. Damn, I, I gotta leave it like that. B. That was good. That's <laughs> a fact. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, give me one more round of applause. That's my man, YG. You heard it. You know what I'm saying? He closed it. We out. Peace. Peace.